Hi right, guys, welcome to the on the ranch today. Uh, we've had some people that have been asking some questions about uh, velvet and, and kind of some different things about the velvet. So we figured we'd kind of show you guys uh, what what happens and what goes on, and what our opinion is and why the reason why they start actually shedding their velvet. So um, this is actually a rub here that we're the bucks have just started rubbing out here lately. We got one where there's some cedar right here that's been kind of hanging off. Um, but this is something that they actually like to rub on a lot is a lot of your cedar trees It's a lot easier. It's a softer wood. So it gets into the crevices a lot easier um, and especially a, 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 a lot of times the old sayings were the the higher the rub and the bigger around the tree, you know, that was a big buck um, Not always uh, sometimes. Yes, but um, I've seen yearlings rub on some of the biggest trees you could possibly see um, And I've seen some great big three and four hundred inch deer rub on those trees so at the same time, it's, the rub size is not always a good indication. The height is a, it does help, um, but they always start from the ground and work their way up. Um, especially if you see a little tree, a little cedar tree that's just been torn to shreds, that's uh, a great indication of, uh, of, of probably a bigger deer, um, especially because they're just going to go into it and they're going to just rip it to shreds trying to get their velvet off. So that velvet kind of sticks to their antlers uh, pretty good sometimes. Sometimes it'll dry on there a little bit. Um, if you do ever shoot a deer and it's got that dried on velvet, make sure you wash your hands thoroughly afterwards. Um, there's, that carries a lot of uh, some bacteria that's not real good. But uh, that being said, uh, there's a lot of people who've been asking the question, you know, what triggers these animals to shed their velvet? Um, what we feel like, and this is just our personal opinion, what causes these animals to, uh, to start shedding their velvet is they actually, is a, it's due to the photo period and a rise in their testosterone levels. Uh, your photo period, that kind of, that it, it triggers a lot of different things. As you go into a new photo period, it can increase feed per, uh, intake. These animals will eat more. Right now, this is a we've just entered a no, new photo period. It's why these animals have started eating more and they've started shedding their velvet. Uh, the increase in testosterone gets these and also makes these these animals we feel like to go ahead and shed their velvet out. Also, uh, what it actually will do is there's a blood flow that flows through the antlers, and whenever it gets starts getting close to time for them to shed out, what you're going to have is about maybe three four days time where that velvet will really just start shrinking up and it's losing its blood flow and it's, it's closing all the capillaries off. So that way these animals don't bleed to death whenever they shed, out, shed their velvet out. Basically once it gets so dry, we feel like, um, which is a big controversial, that it does or does not irritate them. We feel like there's a little bit of an irritation just to the fact that it's like, um, it's a, just a, I wouldn't call it rotting, but it's, it's, it, it can rot if they don't get it off. So what, what they're trying to do is they're trying to get just this, this piece of tissue that needs to come off. It's an irritation, and so they, they want to get it off. That's what their way of their body telling them to get it off. So that's when they'll start working on their antlers and start and trying to get, it, get them cleaned up. So um, this is actually something else, um, just something where you'll see a lot of times. There's actually some old barbed wire sticking right here. Uh, this is where you'll see a lot of times that's the reason why you'll see it is, is fence posts most of the times especially are made out of cedar trees it's a softer wood especially as it starts to decay cedar trees are growing up in and through there uh, from the birds um, spreading the seed for cedar trees and basically a long story short the next thing you know you'll have a buck wrapped his antlers up into the end of the barbed wire before you know it so we try to clean this stuff up uh, whenever we see it um, there apparently was an old fence line in here um, and that'll be the spot that maybe this uh, before long we'll get in here and get this wire cleaned up But uh, if you guys have any other questions feel free to contact us uh, We'll let you know our opinions and what we think is happening with these animals uh, And just stay tuned and follow us on Facebook and YouTube and we'll keep you all informed